Nginx Proxy allows you to easily set up a reverse proxy for all of your containers. You just have to set two environment variables for each new container and you're ready to go. So let's get the setup going. To set it up, we have to go back to our Docker Compose file. So we enter the Svelte counter directory and type vi docker compose. Yeah. In here, we now have to do some changes. First of all, we have to add the new container and it looks like this. It's basically the, the container name and the container is nginx. We have the image. This is the special image. We expose the ports 80 and 443 because 80 is HTTP and 443 is HTTPS. Then we have some um, needed volumes. And in here, we have some other configurations. Now we also have to change our uh, front end container a little bit because now we don't need the port mapping anymore. The Nginx and front end container are in the same Docker network and thus the Nginx container can simply access the front end container through the exposed port that we exposed in the Docker file. On the other hand, we have to specify a domain for our application. And we can do this through creating an environment variable called virtual host. And we have to give it the correct domain here, simply exit and then run docker compose up minus D. We can now see that both containers are created and recreated. And then we should, when it's finished, we should see <laughs> exactly nothing changing here, should work exactly the same. The only difference is now that it's not through the container itself, but it is through the reverse proxy. On the other hand, if we now try to access the application through the IP, it doesn't work anymore. We get a service temporarily unavailable because we haven't configured anything for that IP and we actually don't want our applications to be reachable for it. So that's great. There's one thing still bothering me and that is that we are still trying to access our application through the unsecure HTTP protocol. So let's extend it with SSL certificates and make it HTTPS. For that, we simply have to edit our Docker Compose file again. And yeah, we have to add another container, a companion to the Nginx proxy that handles SSL certificates through the service Let's Encrypt. It Basically, uh, is a service that lets you get SSL certificates freely. We have to only configure a default email and set on our front end application a Let's Encrypt host. So let's do it with mail at programmernow.com and specify a Let's Encrypt host on our uh, front end container. We have to specify a domain again. And yeah, here it is now. Now we save this and run Docker Compose up. And as we can see, after a short while, the protocol we're using is HTTPS and not HTTP anymore. And that's great because now the requests are encrypted. If you now would want to host a second application on this machine, you would just create a new configuration for another container. 
you have to again specify the container, the container name, the image, and especially in the environment variables for new domains. And you could just append that at the end. But now, as a short recap, you now have your own VPS, you're able to host your applications with Docker, and you can connect domains to it and secure it with HTTPS. That's great. And all of that doesn't take too long, especially now if you just want to create new applications. You just have to create the Docker file, specify it in the Docker Compose, maybe set up the actions, not necessarily, but it's nice to have. And that's it. And your next side project is hosted in minutes or even seconds, depending on how quick you are. Besides Nginx proxy, there are two alternative reverse proxies. Traffic is a bit more complex, but also more powerful. And Caddy is really simple, but you have to configure your containers manually. Try them both out and see which one fits best for you. Thank you.